Hello lads, hope you're well. Hope you enjoyed that uh, somewhat of attempt at a vlog at Wimbledon yesterday. I wanted to sort of go out and do like a proper all day vlog, uh, going around Wimbledon and everything like that. Got all ready, took everything out there and then hadn't actually thought about how Wimbledon set up and everything like that and for anyone who's ever been will understand it's not exactly a place that you can uh, take a camera around vlog and they're not exactly happy with the idea of someone sort of filming stuff privately because obviously there's all like tennis matches going on everywhere that's like broadcast on national TV so yeah the last thing they want is some idiot going around with his own camera filming everything and also it's not a huge space and there is a lot of people in there so there's not exactly space to sit down and chat. It's sort of a, uh, yeah, it's about 15 man queue just to get a drink. Yeah, I do like this road, but it is annoying having to uh, let the cars go past. So yeah, I actually had a really good day yesterday. Um, Wimbledon was absolutely quality. It had been for, I think about literally 10 years, I think. I was I think it was 2012 that I was last year. And I, every year I say I'm gonna book a day off work and go, and I never remember to do it. Uh, but this year I actually got around to it, went up there, got a ground pass, which was a lot more expensive than I thought it was gonna be, considering I didn't go in till four. Um, but later in the night, I don't know if you can see from the vlog, we went, uh, went to Tequila Mocking bird afterwards um, and they said yeah because you've got a Wimbledon ticket it's two for one cocktails all night so in the end I more than made my money back on the ticket which was quality yeah as a result of that I was a little bit tired this morning um, I think I started on espresso martinis and then moved on to mojitos because if you have too many espresso martinis you don't sleep but yeah, that was yesterday. Absolute quality experience for anyone who's never been to Wimbledon. I'd recommend going. Obviously, if you're into tennis, if you hate tennis, not much point in going. But Wimbledon's a lovely part of town anyway, so it's always uh, always nice to walk around, especially with how the weather was. It was absolutely boiling. So uh, yeah, can't really complain. Had a quality day. Just a little bit tired. A little bit tired this morning. In terms of uh, other stuff that sort of got on this week, um, Tuesday I had. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of it. I had um, had a Reiki session. It's sort of like a type of therapy I guess I don't know it's like Chinese spiritual stuff I've been having it for years but obviously I haven't been able to get a session for like two years because of everything uh, so that was nice to go back had had a good one there I was probably in there for about two and a half hours did some proper proper deep work um, which was which was nice and um, feel a lot better for doing that which um, which I often do find going to Reiki sessions um, I don't know if it's the same sort of all therapies but whenever I sort of uh, Whenever I sort of go and actually do the Reiki and have it properly and take it seriously, I um, end up having two or three good days after that as well. Just they're uh, casually annoying the local dog walkers. They uh, always have to walk around me when I'm filming, but you know, it's two sides of a road to a reason. But yeah, uh, in other news that happened this week, I've decided to start a new Instagram account just because obviously I don't think I've got enough work on my plate at the moment. Um, no, it's, uh, it's nothing, nothing I'm doing seriously. Um, but it's just, um, it's actually just sort of more of a just specific rugby account um, in terms of training and stuff like that. Just because, I have, just on my personal Instagram, I hate following celebrities. I find it all really annoying, uh, like all the ads and stuff like that. But I am quite interested in all the rugby stuff. So yeah, I've just basically made a new account to, so I can actually follow rugby people. But um, I am going to start sort of just filming some of the training that I do and stuff like that and put it on there. It's not a fitness account. I've always sort of, I'd never be one of those people that do fitness videos. One, because I'm not that knowledgeable about gym. Two, I just hate the idea of being filmed in the gym. And three, I, I, no one would really follow it. I'm not sort of a fitness influencer or in amazing shape or anything like that. But it's not so much sort of gym stuff. It's more actually sort of the training and stuff like that that I'm gonna, uh, gonna try and do. I'm gonna try and link it in with the stuff that I do at uni in terms of well-being. Uh, it might, I, I might have it for a few weeks and, and give up, but um, not give up, but like, see that it's not actually doing me any good. But the one thing that I can say about YouTube, no matter how well or badly the channel's going, it's definitely, it's definitely kept me more consistent. I think I mentioned this before, it's kept me more consistent in life in general. So by, because I know I've got to do these two videos every week, I've, I've sort of got a lot more, that the discipline that I've got from YouTube has sort of gone into other areas um, and I'm sort of feeling a lot better for it and getting a lot, lot more stuff done at the moment. I'm thinking that if I have this channel, even the, not channel, sorry, the, this account, even if I'm sort of just filming one session a week and putting together a reel, um, that that's just that's just something else that's gonna sort of. 
I don't really skip my gym sessions anyway, so it's, it's not like I need to be more consistent, but sort of maybe really pushing myself, or sort of easier to track the pro uh, the progress and everything like that. But like I said, it might just not might not be in the gym. It might be that I go down to Sparrows and sort of do some kicking and stuff like that, or even I've got one of those stretchy um, stretchy rubber band things. Jesus, that's that's a great explanation. I can't remember what they're called, but the mobility ones that you like stretch around and flick over your head for yoga and stuff like that. And that's really good. Um, I've, got, I've had a yoga mat and all that stuff for ages so I'm going to try and do a little bit more mobility stuff as well because I, last year I sort of only started joining in training in January um, and then the season was pretty much wrapped up by March so was, whereas this year from the start of the year I'm going to be properly and literally everything that isn't contact I'm going to get involved in and if it's like 50-50 should I or shouldn't I I'm going to do it and if I do it and I get hurt I go cool won't do that again but um, because I do go to every training session every Monday, I, I assume this will be Mondays, but I go to every training session, if I just sort of stand there, obviously it's good that I can help out and see the guys, but sort of it's not like it's 20 minutes, sort of two, two and a half hours every Monday, if I'm not going to use that time to do something in terms of going to the gym or whatever, I can't just stand there doing absolutely nothing. And that might mean that I can sort of maybe film, might not even be me training, might be filming some of the other guys training and stuff like that. Look, to be honest, I have no idea where this account is gonna go. Um, it was just the fact that, yeah, I, I wanted to sort of follow some more rugby accounts on Instagram to sort of keep up with everything. But I followed them on my personal account and my timeline and was just full of stuff I couldn't be bothered with. So I quite like having, I've got, I've got the same for a fashion account as well. I've made that years ago, because I hate following all the brands because it's just adverts but I quite like seeing what's coming up and everything like that. So uh, yeah, I just ended up creating a separate account. But like I said, I might I might have it for six months ago. Actually, this isn't doing anything for me and get rid of it. But, or I might end up being the most famous ball boy, water boy, whatever people want to call me going. So this was a bit more of an update just because the, the, the vlog that we put in um, failed so happily yesterday. I'm gonna film a little bit more throughout the week. Uh, we've got July 4th on Monday, so uh, shout out to my American brothers, viewers, whatever you want to call yourselves, Chad, whatever. Um, I'm gonna try and do something Monday night, but no one's in. None of my mates give a monkeys about any of the American stuff. <laughs> I remember I threw, um, I threw a Thanksgiving party, I think in 2019 or something like that. And let's just say no one, no one really got what I was. Uh, no one really got it. But yeah, I might just. The weather's meant to be nice here, which is a rarity. So I might just have a barbecue and a few beers, which is all the Yanks do anyway. Go and find some. 2% canned crap to be a proper American, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But yeah, look, I'm gonna film a little bit more throughout the week, um, just cause not sort of any major updates going at the moment. Like I said, I thought the Wimbledon vlog was gonna turn out a little bit better than it did, but um, either way we'll sort something, and yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you guys later in the week. Happy 4th of July to uh, any American any American people watching, any you Yanks. Um, weirdly enough, I actually end up quite a few of the people that either comment or subscribe actually are American. I don't know what it is about you guys, but you just seem to follow everyone on YouTube. Like, I, all my videos are so British and I seem to only, not only, but get, I think I've got more American subscribers than, uh, than British subscribers, so yeah. Obviously appreciate all of you, but I just find it very interesting. But yeah, I forgot to mention the other day, something else that actually did end up going ahead this week is I had my birthday drinks up in up in London on Wednesday uh, for my birthday, which got pushed back from the other week. Uh, that was brilliant. That was a really good night. Saw, saw a lot of people that I hadn't seen in quite a while. I think we're going to try and get out um, a little bit more often. We say that every time we see each other, and it never really actually happens. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to... Put some plans together over the next few months. Um, got a bit of a uh, bit of shit about my channel, uh, which uh, to be honest, like I said when I first put it out there, I was expecting a lot more. Um, but no one, no one did it in group chats. Everyone saved it for person in person. So uh, yeah, I've got to respect that. But no, it was nice. I saw uh, saw one of my bosses who he'd, he'd had a, he'd had another kid since I last seen him, which I didn't even know about, which was which was uh, which was nice. Met uh, one of my closest friends. Met his new missus. Which is good. Um, they were two peas in a pod, which was quite scary actually, but very very funny. But yeah, no, like I said, hopefully, uh, hopefully going to get out a little bit more often. Um, in terms of stuff next week, 
things are slowing down a little bit now, which is good. Obviously, I had a very, very busy June, you know, starting the new job, wedding, birthday, everything like that. So uh, I'm really trying to sort of have a few more, few more chill ones at the moment. Um, like I said, being Fourth of July, I might have a might have a beer or two um, before before I go to bed tonight. But just uh, trying to get back into the um, back on the fitness vibes now, back on the. Uh, Good routine and everything like that. And to be honest, I've I've been I've been a lot better, so I'm in, enjoying that. Trying to put more time into these videos, but uh, everything I try to arrange, um, everything I do where I arrange actually vlogging, seems to go wrong. Like I said in the, in earlier, I um I planned out everything I was going to film at Wimbledon, and then uh yeah couldn't film when I was in there really. Got a got a few little B-roll clips, but that was. That was pretty much it, but yeah, no, uh, no, no huge changes. Back to, uh, back to the, back to the normal stuff. Got um, brothers in Ibiza, so I've got the house uh, to myself for a little bit, so I'm actually able to film downstairs rather than having to sit away, sit away in my bedroom, which is nice. But um, just feeling so much better since going to the, uh, not going to the gym, but sort of being back since my bay, I've sort of been very, very good, a bit lot more consistent with the gym, just feeling. A lot better for it, which is good. So yeah, I guess um, I, I do try and put the takeaway message on these vlogs and stuff like that. But yeah, uh, <laughs> stay consistent, stay true to your routine, and uh, arrange things you enjoy. I, I, like I said, I'd been mean to go to Wimbledon every year, and I just never actually got myself organised and went. And the, I went on Saturday and had, had an absolutely unbelievable time. So yeah, no, it's quality. I am, um, yeah. No, I'm really happy I arranged it. But look, I'll, uh, I'll pretty much leave it there for this week. Um, like I said, there wasn't any sort of major news to report and the, the Wimbledon vlog went a little bit wrong. So I'll, uh, I'll try and put something a little bit more together for next week in terms of actually uh, stuff that's going on. Um, hopefully going out next weekend, catch up with some more of the boys. Um, in terms of weekdays, obviously up in, up in London on Wednesday as always, but I'm not sure anything particular is happening after work or anything like that so um yeah we'll just see my um, my boss actually ended up staying out literally till we we pretty much got the last train uh, and I, i've gotten really well always got on really well with him but i'd never actually really been out drinking with him in the end so we uh we, yeah we probably just sat there and had a drink for about four or five hours so that, that was that was good got to know each other very well which was uh which is always nice but yeah uh, i think i think this week might be a little bit more of a quieter one but then I always intend to have a quiet one. Things get thrown up in the chat, so we'll uh, we'll see. But yeah, I no, no, appreciate you guys making it all the way to the end. Um, if you did enjoy my uh, my little rambly vlogs, as always, please do consider liking, subscribing. Um, yeah, as always, comment anything below. Try to keep it nice, but I'm not that fast either way. And I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care, lads.